Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be anchoring our gazebo with these wedge anchors. So these are one half inch by three and three fourths inch long, and we got a half inch drive bit specifically for concrete. And so uh, something we can show you here, this is filled in a little bit with the uh, gravel, but you want to make sure that you're not going to go down too deep to where you're going to break through the concrete and into the sand. So you want to get some measurements. And to cut the concrete, you will need a hammer drill. So not just a regular drill. It needs to show this logo here for the hammer. Uh, a regular drill will not do it, and they rent even heavier duty ones than this. But as you can see here, we have a DeWalt half-inch drive uh, hammer drill here. So what we've done is we've put tape on the bit to know how far down we need to drill. That way we won't go too far, and we'll know when we've gone far enough. And next, you want to make sure that it's going to clear the cover here. So, for example, this cover lifts up on our gazebo, and uh, that's where we're going to bolt it down. We just want to make sure that we don't uh, uh, go too shallow either. So we're just going to go up to this line here, and then we'll know. So please make sure you wear safety glasses. This is a very dangerous thing to be doing uh, without any. Um, so wear your eye protection. So here we go. We're going to start drilling. And uh, you can see this is a heavy-duty drill uh, to do this with. Okay, so we've gone down to our line here. You can see on the tape, we're down far enough. And so I've even taken a smaller drill here and you can hear the difference and see how it's not really doing anything. But I'll take a smaller bit as well, just to kind of break up the concrete as a pilot hole and then as needed, drill it a little bit more. Uh, but you can definitely see the difference between those two drills. So make sure you have a hammer drill. So along the way, and especially uh, when you're done, we want to make sure that we shop back out all of the pieces uh, so that we have a nice clean hole to work with. And so here's the tip. We want to put our anchor in and then before we do anything else, put in our washer and start our nut. Um, as we hit the top of this, it will damage the threads no matter what you do. And so if the uh, nut is already on there, it uh, won't matter. And so you can see we can drive this down in as we do. It expands and uh, firms it up. If you have to, you can use an angle grinder to cut off the excess. Um, or if you mess up on the threads or the bolt, um, that's about your only other option. But um, just be careful it's super hot when you do that so use pliers don't ever touch it but anyway that's uh, how easy it is for it to cover just repeat it for as many of these as you want to drive and uh, one other small note is as you're drilling make sure you don't hit the rebar if it's reinforced concrete uh, then you might start to hit some rebar and so if it's not drilling like it should and you're not getting a lot of powder coming up you might want to check that you're not drilling into the metal so anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll put a playlist in the description for other home DIY projects like this. Uh, thanks guys.